Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be creating a themed planner spread in a horizontal layout. I'll be using some stickers and some washi to design the next week of June in my classic happy planner. So come plan with me. And I've got these washi tapes here ready to go, as well as this ink and blending brush I may use, these mild liners I pulled, and this sticker sheet that I made with my Foam Memo printer. And finally, all of these Happy Planner sticker books from which I will pull. And this is the third week of the June Planable Challenge, and this week's theme is Summer Mixtape. So if you'd like to participate, go ahead and post your spreads up on Instagram using the hashtag Planable June 2023. We'd love to see what you come up with. Okay, you guys, gonna go ahead and lay down some wax paper here to get things started. I am reusing this sheet of wax paper, so it's getting a little bit roughed up, but no worries. And I also pre-pulled a few stickers from these various books so that I could get an idea of where this spread was gonna go. I'm really getting into some of the real old Happy Planner sticker books in my stash and just pulling bits and pieces here and there that help push the theme along. And so for this week with the summer mixtape theme, I was thinking stick with a color scheme, maybe have some stars and some sun elements to kind of emulate summer. Thinking about old school cars, so I found those Volkswagen Beetle Bug cars that I thought would be a good representation for where you might be playing your summer mixtape and just some other items that I thought coordinated with that color scheme. So pulled random things from different books. Don't have a ton there on the sheet to start with. So I also thought I needed some more mixtape vibes, more cassette vibes for the spread. I went into Google, into the image search and just looked for cassette drawings and found one that I liked took a screenshot and printed it right off onto my Foam Memo printer. And that's just been the easiest way I've found to really create custom stickers on the fly. That printer is great, but it does only print black and white, so I have to be kind of strategic about what I pick out for making the stickers. But this worked out well for this week because I'm able to kind of add the color that I wanted to and customize the color scheme with these drawings so that I could move forward the color scheme through those stickers instead of trying to find exactly what I needed. So I'm just using those mild liners that I pulled to add some color to those black and white drawings. I also printed these on the white label paper from the Foam Memo printer. They also offer it in clear, which I've used a lot of in the past for printing my stat stickers for my health spreads. But the paper stickers are pretty great. They uh, hold up really well here, even with these markers. It does take a moment for the ink to really get absorbed into the paper, but once it's there, then it's good to go. And I decided to color these in just using one color per on each of these smaller cassettes that I printed. And I used that same image and made a larger one, as you can see there in the corner, and I'll mix all three colors on the larger one just to give a little bit of balance there with that larger mixtape and make that a focus area. So now that I've got the basic elements here, let's see what we can make happen as far as some summer mixtape vibes here on the spread. This is gonna be pretty hodgepodgey because of all the random stickers that I've been pulling, but I think it's gonna be a nice compilation of things using that color scheme to really keep everything relatable. So I'm thinking to do a diagonal sort of swoosh going across the spread this week. I've been doing a lot more borders, spines, kind of straight across in some of my other spreads, so 
been a while since I've done anything diagonally across the spread. So I thought that would be kind of fun to do on this one since it's got a more loose, again, fun vibe that I think will be best served with that style of layout. I'm going to start trying to commit things to the sheet and where I think they're going to go. Grabbing those pre-pulled items first and then maybe going back into some of these books to help fill the gaps that are obviously going to be there between some of these sections of stickers since I didn't really pull all that much to start with. And I'm getting some direction here, kind of figuring out how this is really going to go. Pulling a few other little items from the different books here. Some sunglasses that match the color scheme. And let's color in this larger mixtape drawing just so I can get that on the page and know how the colors are going to lay out there in the corner. And like I said, just need to take a second to let the ink kind of absorb into the label sheet. But then once that sets, it dries well. So there was no issues after that. So I'm just going to search through some of these sticker books, kind of looking for different elements in this color scheme to bring in. This green tone is a little bit darker in some of the boxes and a little bit lighter obviously there in the center. It's really hard to find a good match on all of the books that would meet my needs. So I just did as good as I could with the color scheme. I think it all works together. It's just different tones of the same color. So I think overall it does come together pretty nicely in the end. And these little star clusters, I think, are really going to help bring the element I'm looking for. That more kind of, not really magical, but just kind of like that summer sparkle to the spread. Just give you the, the summer vibes. And I used pretty much all that I had there in that one sticker book. And realized that there's some other little stars and suns here in these border stickers that I could cut up and use in and around in this area as well. So I'm just going to use my precision cutter here and cut around some of these elements I don't want and grab out the little elements that I do want. And then that way I can save those other pieces maybe for another spread, but get out a little bit more, I guess, kind of pattern and texture from what I have here left over in this seasonal sticker book. It's really feeling good going through these older sticker books and just using the stickers you guys kind of informally decided to really try to focus more on using older stickers and weeding down my stash a little bit instead of just adding and adding new stickers to my stash and only using a fraction of my sticker books. So I'm excited to try to get creative with how to use some of these stickers that I've had for years now, just kind of sitting around and making them into something new and fun. And trying to figure out a nice layout here for these boxes down on the bottom. Using the corners to give me a little bit more decor there, but more functional areas there in the top right in the bottom left. And then I have this washi tape with these stars on it that I thought might be a good match for this spread because of the color scheme and because of the stars. So we'll lay some of that in and just see how that looks. I also have this almost confetti dot washi that may be a little bit too busy with the stars and with the kind of sparkly stars in the center. So I'll hold off on that. 
but I'm kind of liking this pink star washi going across the bottom. Gives a little bit more color to the spread, so let's try that. Maybe another layer here at the top. This washi is super old, so it doesn't stick as well as it used to. The adhesive is pretty dried out, I guess would be the best way to describe it. So it just doesn't have as much sticky power as it used to. May need to tweak some of that a little bit here once I um, get it on the page, but we'll lay it in for now. See what else I might be able to add in to jazz up some of these corner items. I like the idea of adding in just a little bit of anything that I'm finding in the right color scheme. So I'm pulling in some hearts, pulling in a few random headers. Found one more cluster of those stars, thankfully. So let's go ahead and put that in where things are a little bit empty. And I'm cutting it up so that I can really customize how it's flowing on the spread and on the page. And drop that in. Looking for a few more items. I really wanted another quote here, and this one that says, go on a road trip, was the closest I could find in the right color scheme. So we're gonna go ahead and try to add that in so that there's a little bit of a balance there with the other quote on the opposite page that says, time for an adventure. I thought I was gonna use the entire element there with the van and everything, but it has some silver on it that I didn't want to bring into the spread, so I decided to cut out the van and just use the quote. However, I accidentally ripped the sticker when I was pulling it off the page, and so now I just need to figure out how best to incorporate it onto the spread, making sure everything is all lined up and ready to go. Tweaking some of the elements here, how they're related in this swooshing area. Playing around with positioning. But I'm liking how that's looking. Like I said, there will be a little bit of tweaking here and there. But let's go ahead and start getting some of these items onto the spread and then we'll move on from there. Maybe adding what I need after the fact. So to kind of outline where the swoosh is gonna go, I'm just gonna use some of that yellow chalk ink that I have there and my blending brush to create like a flow going across the page. So it seems more like one single element. I really like that. I think that's gonna bring everything together nicely. Let's go ahead and try and lay in the washi tape now. What I decided to do down here was to white out this black line because since these are my inserts, the pages aren't cut perfectly. And when my printer prints, it prints the smidge higher or lower depending on what side of the page you're on. So one side's always a little bit shorter or a little bit taller than the other one as far as where the positioning of the layout is. So I'm just going to wipe that out so that I can even out the bottom with the washi tape in a more seamless manner and you won't see that line behind the washi. And to do that, I'm going to also cut down this washi a little bit because I don't want it to be too thick at the top and not at the bottom. So I cut it down a little bit. There was a lot of extra pink area on the bottom half of the washi tape when you have the stars all directed upwards. So I just needed to trim that off a little bit so that I could minimize the size of the washi at the top. So I got the bottom all set. Let's go ahead and pop in the top. And the reason, again, that I did that was because I didn't want it to be too thick. 
and actually really butt into that June month. I think what I did worked pretty well. Again, that washi does take a little bit to try to stick down. I have to make sure that I push it down to the page pretty well before I move forward with cutting or trimming it. And this side was a little bit crooked there. So I was going to try to fix it with my precision cutter just to make it look a little bit more smooth, but it didn't go that well. Okay, let's go ahead and start moving over some of the bigger items now. I'll start with this cluster of boxes down here at the bottom. And I just realized that the back page was coming up a little bit off of the paper, so I just glued that back down and trimmed off that box. I decided I didn't want any of the vans there on the spreads. Just trimmed the box so that it was off of the bottom of the page. Now I really wanted to try to roll this off, but none of the stickers were technically touching, so it was being very finicky trying to come up off the wax paper. Also to the stickers I made on my foam memo printer, that label paper really was sticking very, very securely to the wax paper. So it was a lot harder to get off than the standard clear stickers. So I definitely had trouble trying to roll the stickers I made off of the wax paper. In the end, I end up doing a lot more piecemeal placement instead of doing that roll-off thing. Sometimes when everything goes well and you have a bunch of stickers all touching, you can roll things off pretty easily and not have to do that extra work. So I'm just going to try to move things over bit by bit the best I can. I'm gonna try doing this upside down to get the placement. On this one in particular, I wanted to do a little bit of a, an adjustment where the stickers were placed because I knew I was gonna need more room here on Sunday for a larger checklist than I was allowing on the wax paper. So I'm making the adjustment here, kind of pushing things flat a bit more so that I can flatten out space on Sunday and not have so much diagonal push into Sunday. So that's going to require me to do a little bit of adjustment here with the positioning of the quote and then also the car. That looks good. May need to reset some of these stickers in and around the areas to make it work. It looks good and I've got these sunglasses that I definitely want to be straddling the center so we'll do that just make sure I'm putting it into the right spot then we'll fill in with these other little elements as best I can here got this one other quote that will pop in again just trying to find the best fit now pull in these sunglasses trying to stick to the line of the uh, background there a little bit the swooshing feel so it all again seems like it's all part of one bigger piece Try not to double up too much on those suns and the same spots throughout. Let's go ahead and separate the pages, trim out a few items here that are overlapping the page. I think we're looking good. Let's go ahead and add in the checklists now just so I can get a feel for how those are going to turn out. I'm going to pop those in just using these model liners. 
alternating the three colors of the pink, the teal, and the yellow in and around each day. I also decided that I was going to draw in some music notes into this little collage here of items for the music side of things and just to add a little something extra. So I'm just coloring those in with this dark gray mild liner that I have using the fine liner tip. And Trying not to overdo it, so I just did a few little music notes. I feel like I could use a little bit more of the sparkle, if you will, in and around the swoosh area. So I'm going to pull in a few more off of these other borders that I found in the other seasonal sticker book. These are mainly in the, I call it the seasonal classic sticker book and the best year ever sticker book they're basically the same styling of stickers just with a slightly different color scheme so it's a lot easier to find matching stickers in and between those two books so i did find like i said a couple more of these in here so we'll pull in a few more stars and suns where they can be fit in add a little bit more to that swoosh And maybe even add a little bit to the clusters in the corner just to repeat some of that imagery in those areas. I think that's going to do it. We'll go ahead and pop this in. And at the last minute, I just decided that I really didn't like the washi tape. It was just feeling a little too heavy. So I decided to try pulling it up and see what I thought, and I liked it better without. So once I'm done with that, you guys, we will be done, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.